Hello everybody and welcome to 2019 through 2020's first LEGO League season. So as you might know, this year's first LEGO League season is called City Shapers. So the theme is kind of like cities working together and building a city because you're shaping your city as City Shapers. I'm really excited for this year. This is going to be fun. As last year, you remember the into orbit season. We might jump back to last year a little bit later on in the video. But this year's season is going to be cool with City Shapers. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the competition basics and since Last year was actually my personal first year in First Lego League. I'm really excited for this year because uh, it's my second year going to the competition or the first tournament or the regional tournament that we go to. And I learned a lot from last year. And especially if you're a first year team, even if you're not a first year team, I have a tons of information I wanted to share with you guys that helped my team out that, that I wish I knew last year. But now we know. And if you're a first year, you'll know too after watching this video. So stick to the end of this video because the end of this video has some important things. Also, if you're new here, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, so I'd, I'll give you a moment to do that. So scroll down a little bit and subscribe. All right, thank you. Nice job, guys. And also press the bell. All right, and now, by the way, I do science videos every week or so, which, just like this. I mean, this is a robotics theme, which is kind of fun. All right, anyways, let's jump right into this video. So let's talk a little bit about the tournament itself, like what you do when you get there and what I did and how it worked a little bit for me. Now, of course, it might be different for you, but this is kind of just to give you guys an idea of what the tournament is about and kind of like what it is. And of course, these are some of the things also that I wish I knew uh, beforehand, before we got there. So that was nice. So you guys will know that. So the first thing we did when we got there, there was a big area where we, we each had our separate table for our team. So our team met in one area and that was like our area to work with a robot. Uh, Make sure you bring a mat along for the tournament. That's definitely a big thing that we did that helped a lot because, of course, programming your robot, continuing that, uh, testing out your robot before you go and making sure the batteries charge. Always make sure your batteries charge. I, my team had one problem with that last year. So make sure your batteries charge before you go to the tournament and have some backups. Uh, yeah. So for first Lego League, you, you know there's three things that you do. You have the first one, uh, the robot game. The second one that you do is the innovative project and then the third one is the core values so each of these three things have the own part of the competitions which is what you're there for and a lot of people say well like in between you go a lot of people are saying like bring books uh make sure you're using those downtimes like wisely um use them wisely you really won't actually have much downtime trust me i brought a book and then my whatever digital device to use and really I didn't actually have much time. We were continuing to work on the robot. You walk around and check out other teams and talk to them and share ideas with each other and help each other out and just have fun because that's the whole point. You're there to have fun. Um, and also and also having your time to like find food in between. Like there was pizza we had to find and we had like an hour in between but with the lines and everything. And so you don't really have downtime that much. You will have downtime back at your space but use it wisely. Don't just sit around playing on your phone or if you have a phone or whatever. You should be like working on your robot or talk to other teams and a lot of groups will come around and say hi and check out your robot. Go check some other people's robots out because it helps to give you ideas and things like that. And don't ever feel that you're copying someone's ideas because you can take their idea, maybe even make it better because it's all about working together. And the judges also like it when you're walking around and not just sitting on your phone and sitting in your spot. Uh, like I said, of course, use your time wisely. And I'll keep saying that throughout the video because that's very important. Work on your robot and especially that little time at the tournament. Uh, the average point scored in the robot game was about 60 points just to give you an idea. So I'd like to score over 60 usually, but it's actually up to you. And that's just a sneak peek of the point totals, which I saw. Uh, from our regional tournament, which we will talk about a little bit later in the video. Let's talk a little bit about what the judges look for at the competition. So here are the five biggest things that I think judges look for at the competition the most. The first thing is a team that can communicate. So communication is the key, especially in the core values. Things are the core value part when you go in and there's always the secret game, which you might hear about or if you've heard about yet, you go in and it's uh, where you work together and you have a problem that you have to solve. Last year we had something similar to a puzzle. Or I've heard things before where you have to like maybe not talk and you have to like transfer something to somewhere without touching it and you can't communicate, you can't talk. 
Uh, so judges will look for how you communicate, not even for your team, but judges will also look for how you communicate with other teams and if you're friendly, which we'll talk about a little bit later, friendliness. Um, so the second thing is working together, which is similar to communication and friendliness and being a team, because uh, you're a team, that's what you do, you work together, because that's what teammates do, they work together and they encourage each other and they communicate well. And now the third thing is friendliness and being friendly, talking with other teams, always being active and awake and ready to do more and be excited, be really excited. Uh, I'm just saying guys, the most fun part of my whole season ever, my favorite part was at that tournament. When we got there to the time we left, that was my favorite time. And it totally wasn't the extra sleep that I got on the car ride up because it was a few hour car ride from where I was going. Anyways, the fourth thing that I'm going to share with you guys is a team that can resolve problems well. And this is also similar to the other three things, the friendliness, uh, working together in communication. Uh, but resolving problems, if you're ever arguing, and that's what coaches are there for, to kind of prevent that stuff. But you, your team, you should be working together. You should be able to resolve these problems on your own. Uh, and the final fifth thing that I'm going to share with you guys is encouraging other teams. Uh, I talked a little bit about before, remember the downtime? Okay, so if you remember the downtime, remember how I was talking about how you walk around, encourage other teams, talk to other teams, get ideas from them. Uh, that's very important. Judges love it when you do that, and it's very fun, and it helps your team out. And it's uh, uh, kind of like the downtime that's a big, like I said, use it wisely. Use your downtime wisely, but I'm just saying you won't get much, or you won't get very much downtime. And now I'm going to share with you guys a few other tips, like extra tips for the competition. And then we'll jump into some other fun things too. So here are six extra tips for you guys throughout your regular season. So these, this will involve like with your teammates and your team now program. And it helped my team out a lot. And this will help your team out a lot, about, or a lot out too. So the first tip I have for you guys is tip number one, of course, is sharing ideas. So share ideas with your teammates uh, because it helps your teammates a lot when they know what you're thinking. Uh, I have a lot of ideas and I've seen some of my teammates before, they come up with an idea and they start building it and we'll walk over and we'll go, or I'll walk on them and go like, what are you doing that looks so cool? And he goes, oh, I haven't told you. So if you have a good idea, you should share it with your teammates so they can help you and then you can keep going because a lot of times it's a cool idea. I've had a lot of cool ideas on my team, uh, teammates that have come up with that but haven't communicated and you remember communication is the key as earlier. So that, I guess this tip is also communication, but it's, I mean, really not. It's still sharing ideas. And this guy over here is sitting on my list of tips for you. So I shall have, I'm going to have to sneak under there and see. Okay, so the second tip I have for you guys is encourage your teammates. So encourage your teammates. So encourage your teammates, uh, which is, okay, a lot of times it's hard. Building robots takes forever sometimes. I built a robot earlier today. I'm not lying, I'm not kidding. Uh, I built a robot earlier today that took me 4 hours and 33 minutes. And I don't know how many seconds, but 4 hours and 33 minutes, or maybe 32 seconds, or 32 seconds, 32 minutes. But, um, so a lot of times it'll take a long time, but keep going, encourage your teammates. A lot of times things take a while, but remember, it's cool when you get to the competition. It's kind of all for the competition. It's really fun. I mean, that's why I chose to do a competition basics video over like a robot basics video. Because this is like a really cool video and really fun. So the third thing I'm going to share with you guys is respect your big people. Now, who are your big people? Who are your big people? Uh, that would be your adults, your coaches, your parents on your team that are there to help you out. Don't ignore them and please respect them because they're there to help you out. Um, a lot of times, just a quick tip for you guys in the project or the innovation project when you go on. Uh, the innovation project, which is the new name for it, is... Uh, they'll, a lot of times they'll ask you or the core values of what your uh, your favorite thing about the adults and what they helped you with. Uh, so respect your adults because they help you with a lot of things, um, a lot of things throughout the year. Uh, and adults are very important there and they're there to help you. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to tell you guys, which you've heard many times, is work together. A lot of times something will happen and they're just like, well, work together, figure it out. And that's good because that's what you're there. Teammates are there to be teammates. Teammates are teammates. Your team is your team. Uh, that sounds funny, but it's serious. Work together with your team. That's very important to work together. Uh, you're not going to have a very successful team if you don't work together, don't communicate, and don't get along. You need to work together as a team. You're like multiple people. I, I need to di find a dictionary for what, it, what are teammates, like what the word teammates are. 
Ah, uh, yes. In the dictionary, a teammate is a fellow member of a team. Um, uh, we might have known that. A teammate's a team. Oh, oh, sorry. Anyways, the next tip is going to be be safe. So you cannot have any fun. You cannot learn and enjoy if your team is not being safe. And I should share with you guys the second one is have fun. If you're not being safe and somebody gets hurt, you're not going to have any fun. But you can feel free to have fun. You want to learn and enjoy and have fun. I mean, I've talked about learning and enjoying before, of course. But be safe and have fun. I always tell my team that and say everybody or say or tell everybody that because you cannot have fun or without being safe because if you're not being safe, you're somebody gets hurt. Like I said, you're not going to have any fun. And when you're having fun, be careful. Make sure you, you're being safe. Like I already said, you can have fun, but be safe while you're having fun. So be safe and have fun. So the next thing I wanted to do for you guys is to basically get your brains moving and getting robot ideas. So for the robot game is building a robot. So we're completely going to switch gears right now from this video. I'll go from our competition basics, but still to stay in the competition basics along with the robot game. But I hear are three robot ideas for you. Uh, I might even show you the one that I built earlier today, which took me forever, but it's a cool robot. And the second one I'm going to show you guys is from a previous video I've done before. And thank you guys for making that video hit 700 views. It was amazing. Uh, yes, yeah, so, and the third one is another robot that's actually a speed build design I made in another video. So these are all clips from other videos. So go, go learn and enjoy and have fun. You don't have to worry about being safe now. But do be safe in your season because there's nothing you, well, you'll get hurt in while watching my video because my video is amazing and you, you'll like and you'll subscribe. So anyways, here are three robot ideas for you guys. Lego. Can't believe Lego is not in the dictionary. Oh, oh, you're back. Hello. Oh, so did you like the three robot ideas? I knew you would. So now you've seen pretty much everything of my tips that I will help your team out and from the tournament basics. And now you've had three robot ideas. And remember, don't be afraid to take my ideas and don't be afraid to copy them. But also don't be afraid. Oh, that's a lot of don't be afraid to kind of keep the ideas and build it up and make it even better. I'd love it if you guys would even make some sort of video or some way to show me like the ideas you've had. That'd be amazing and see. All right, I really appreciate you guys have subscribed. If you already have or if you haven't, that'd be awesome if you would. Uh, if you have subscribed, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like and yeah, bye.